Hi chicos. This is our day number one, and this is and is this is the part number five of the session that we have had today. In this piece, we are going to let me share with you uh, my uh, screen. Just a few clicks, and I'll be with you. We are gonna be putting together the pieces to express dates, see? So how to tell when your birthday is, or a holiday is, or what day today is. Those are the pieces that we need to put together expressing dates. Therefore, the uh, learning objective for this part are, as it says in here, at the end of this session, students will be able to talk about the calendar and dates. Okay, and we're gonna include seasons to that. So we're gonna be covering days of, days of the week, months of the year, and seasons to express dates. And obviously we're gonna be using recycling numbers, the, the, the part that we learned in session number four. So let's proceed. We go to the textbook and we find days of, of the week, and yes, if you click. Lunes. Martes, you have the pronunciation. miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. And domingo, and that way you get to click on your own on the pieces and practice pronunciation for the same thing for uh, months. Let's do the same for them. Enero, febrero, marzo, abril, mayo, junio. Julio, agosto, septiembre, octubre, noviembre, diciembre. In diciembre, there, we go there. Uh, next page, we get the last piece that we are going to be covering in this section. Session. El invierno. Mm -hmm. La primavera. Mm -hmm. Two more. El verano. El otoño. Okay, but I do have a better way to present these topics to you. So, chicos, come with me, join me singing this song, okay? See, we're gonna say lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, lunes, martes, miércoles, but I'm not a singer, so let's follow this lady. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to just uh, rewind, go back in the video and listen and sing the song, okay? Muy bien. Few details about days of the week, okay? Even though they are, and they all of them end in S, see, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, uh, see, the, fi the five days of the week, they end in S, even though that looks like a plural noun, it's not. They are singular. And what shows it is the article. We use el lunes, el martes, el viernes. Notice that in Spanish, we don't capitalize days of the week, okay? We put them in little, in, in, in little case, see? Now, what happens when you do get a plural day, uh, main, meaning when you say, I work on Mondays? Okay. That, in that case, the plural would, would show in the article. So instead of using L, we use los. So los lunes, los martes, los miércoles. Now, with sábado and domingo, you would add the letter S. So los sábados and los domingos. Got it? Muy bien. So no se usa mayúscula inicial. Para los días de las semanas, I already mentioned that to you. And one thing to, that would help us control the filter of English is to know that if you try to say, I work on Mondays in Spanish and think that on going to the dictionary, you find the preposition and 
and then you switch and say yo trabajo en domingos, yo trabajo en lunes. Uh, no, that's that will be English forcing Spanish uh, in, 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 in its structure. But in that, what do you do in Spanish? You use the article, the plural article. So yo trabajo los lunes, would that loss would correspond with the preposition on that you guys use in English. Got it? Muy bien. Some questions that we use for present days, uh, uh, talking about days, ¿qué día es hoy? Hoy es viernes, right? ¿Qué día es Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving es jueves, usualmente, ¿sí? Ok, perfecto. Let me close that there. Um, to switch topic to uh, days of the, uh, months of the year, ¿sí? So we have, in the four seasons, we have invierno, primavera, verano, and otoño. We have that enero es en invierno, febrero es en invierno, en marzo, abril y mayo es primavera, junio, julio y agosto son verano, septiembre, octubre y noviembre son otoño, y diciembre, enero y febrero son um, invierno. So as you see it, ¿sí? The three months, diciembre, enero y febrero, belong, so, son parte del invierno. Marzo, abril y mayo son parte de la primavera. Junio, julio y agosto son parte del verano. Noviembre, octubre y septiembre son parte del otoño, ¿sí? And a beautiful way to study months of the years uh, is this, using meses del año. So, enero, julio, febrero, agosto, septiembre. So, enero, febrero, marzo, abril, mayo, junio. Julio, agosto, septiembre, octubre, noviembre, and diciembre. There is a celebration of a saint in Sp Pamplona, Spain, and they include six of the months of the year in a song. See? The celebration begins on um, uh, 6 de julio. And the song says this way, and the images will tell you what happens in Pamplona uh, by this time. You see those images, you know, you notice that most of the people and guys were wearing white, see, white and a red bandana, un pañuelo rojo. And that's because they are celebrating their saint, San Fermin, okay? And that's what happens. They chase from the old city to the uh, plaza, to, uh, and the, 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 the wolves, los toros, are following them. Uh, there are other celebrations, uh, um, uh, parades, and things like that in the whole in the whole um, holiday. Uh, but the one that I wanted to not, to bring to your attention was this song that includes all the months. Pay attention in terms of pronunciation that octubre is an o. See, it's not oct. It's octubre and then noviembre and then diciembre, septiembre. Make sure that you control the filter of English in your pronunciation. Okay. So we have covered the seasons. We have covered the uh, day, the days of the week, and we have covered uh, uh, los meses. See, eh? let me open a blank, uh, a blank slide here to introduce to you a question. Que día? Uh oh. ¿Qué día es hoy? ¿Sí? Hoy, la respuesta sería hoy es uh, viernes 29 de junio 
de 2018. Notice that when we express date, we announce it with the verbs to be, ser, hoy es viernes. Notice that el, the article L is not there when you state what day today is, see? Hoy es viernes, and then we say the number uh, that, 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 that they correspond to, preposition de, and then the month, the preposition de announces the year, okay? So, hoy es viernes, 29 de junio de 2018. Es verano. ¿Sí? Es la estación del año. Es verano. That should not be a capital. Because verano, uh, las estaciones, they go in, in little case. ¿sí? Verano es masculino. Uh, the only one that is feminine is la primavera. So if you hear the question, cuando... Es tu cumpleaños. ¿Sí? You, you, your answer would be mi cumpleaños. Es el 5 de enero. ¿Mm? Es el invierno. If you want to add the... Uh, the um, a season. Pay attention to this. When you ask about the uh, birthday, in English you have the tendency to give the full day, the full time date with the year of your birth. Uh, in Espanol, if you ask for the birthday, you, you, you will not get the year. So that will be date of birth, not the celebration of you want more year of life. Got it? Muy bien. Chicos, regarding dates and that's it for now. And uh, what happens is that we'll continue with some assignments, exercises that you have in uh, on my Spanish lab. That they're here too, but there are better exercises on my Spanish lab. If I'm able, I'll show you. Oh no, I'll show you. Them in a minute. I just. Ouch. I'm in the middle. Um, I think I lost it. I had it open. Da -da 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 -da. I have the song stuck in my head. Da -da 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 okay, I'm going to go from here to my Spanish lab to show you. I have to do this. Which is the last part of the day, see? I hope you enjoy the songs. Here we have them, see? Um, okay, here we have them. So days of the week, uh, en que mes del año, this one, let's begin here. And I want you to view, I want kind of like explain the exercises and what you guys need to do, see? You have to match the list of the holiday within the months where they take place. So, la India de la Independencia de los Estados Unidos obviously happens in Julio, see? Halloween, San Valentin, Christmas, when when each one of those holidays, in what month they happen. Um, then we go for days of the week. That was meses. Let's go with months, uh, days. See? Continue. What is the sequence? See? Right in Spanish. Uh, with so martes, then what day comes here? Miércoles, verdad? Domingo, then what day is missing there in the sequence? That will be the second one. Uh, the next exercise is a seasons, las estaciones. So let's view them. You're gonna listen, you're gonna listen 
and then you are gonna uh, place, uh, type here the, the, the month and the season, see? Enero. Okay, so what month did you hear? And then what season that month belongs to, okay? Then we are gonna be working on fechas, dates. Last page, the last piece that I explained to you was on dates. And um, as fechas, you're gonna be listening again. El 4 de marzo. Okay, so here you put in numbers the date, okay? 4 de marzo. 30 de octubre, here that, 30 and then the 10th, got it? Okay, chicas and chicos, these are the assignments for uh, uh, fiestas and uh, um, dates, months, and we have a little bit more, but they are uh, connected with numbers too, so I already mentioned them, numbers. And that's it for today. I'll hope to see you uh, in the uh, Zoom meeting uh, in a few hours, maybe I think at seven and then uh, we'll clarify questions and anything else that we have to work on, okay? So I'm gonna end this meeting and say bye-bye.